You know, and his father, Baker, he lived into his 90s, and there's a movement to have the man sainted. I think, uh, there, I think there are five steps to sainthood, and when I wrote the song, he was at step number two, servant of God, and uh, I think he's progressed through step three and possibly on step four, but I don't know if they've proved miracles or whatever they have to do in order to saint somebody, but it's, it's completely plausible that in my lifetime there will be a saint from my home city, you know? And uh, when I was a kid, uh, there was also, there had been an orphanage that was shut down. Father Baker had helped get the uh, orphanage out of the red and into the black in the, in the late 1800s. You see, his father had been an accountant or something, or a, bu a small business owner. And, uh, and so he learned how to do the, the books from the old man. His mother <laughs> was very devout. So when he, when he gave up doing business and went into the church, his mother was happy with him. But he, uh, he got the orphanage there out of the red and into the black. He gave a lot of uh, single mothers mm -hmm. and their children uh, help in his lifetime. He helped build a hospital that is named after him. There's the Basilica Church in Lackawanna, New York. Mm -hmm. So the man did a lot of good things for the community. But when I was growing up, it was that orphanage that uh, I didn't know that it was shut down when I was six and seven years old. But if I did something wrong, everybody was like, we're going to send you to Father Baker's orphanage. <laughs> <you're gonna> <laughs> And there are stories throughout Greater Buffalo, New York, about people whose parents packed a bag and dropped them off and left them there crying so that they would learn their lesson. This is about the very saintly Father Baker. Hey, Father Baker, I wrote you a song.
So much one can give. 